Hello guys, my name is Weefies, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to build the minigame race. So if you guys don't watch Mumbo Jumbo, recently on April 22nd, or today when I'm recording, Mumbo Jumbo released a Hermitcraft video in which he made this minigame. In the minigame race, you flick up, <laughs> sorry guys, you flick a lever, and the minecarts go down slowly. You have to bet on which minecart will reach the bottom first, and it is completely random. Once all the mine carts have reached the bottom, you can hit the you can flick off the start switch. And it's always gonna be random guys, don't think the middle one's always gonna be good. Hit reset and the mine carts all go up very nicely. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build this monster of a redstone contraption. So guys, without further ado, here is the actual contraption itself. Um, this, it, it's pretty big, I'm not gonna lie, it's big, and I tried to compact it, maybe you guys will have some genius way of compacting it, but this was how I figured I would do it, and it all fits in the mold except for this tiny area out the side, but that will be okay, and if you guys want to wire it up differently, then that's your choice. But now I'm going to show you all the circuits, and bear in mind, this is a huge redstone contraption, and if you want to build it, then f I hope you f then please follow along, because it's going to be hard to explain everything. But first, let's look at the dimensions. So there are eight diagonal rails, this being the eighth. Then you want a small little powered rail after this regular rail, has to be regular. Um, another regular rail right here, and another powered rail underneath this. So this is a powered rail right here. You want blocks at all the edges, and at the edge of this one, a block. So, between all these, you have to have something between. And I like it kind of back like this. I designed it with a gap, so it's not perfectly aligned like that. But it's a little, I don't know, with this are like little balconies, or rims, or something. And if you do it that way, which that's my tutorial for, you want three redstone dust along like that. And that's super important for making this machine work. So the first circuit we're going to be taking a look at is actually powering the very top rail. This is probably one of the easiest circuits. So take, this is the start button, so you want these three redstone dust. Notice the block that the third one is on, that's this block right here. See, one, two, three. And from that block, you want to take a repeater output, send it into a block. With underneath it, a redstone dust. A repeater taking an output from that block. And another block with nothing on it and another redstone dust and that's gonna go into something else but again take this block so repeater block and then another repeater that goes into a block with something on it for later but into a block with underneath it a redstone dust keep going one redstone dust and then another repeater that goes into a redstone torch and that redstone torch goes into a bunch of repeaters that go into a redstone torch tower to the top. So, when this machine turns on, that repeater is going to turn on, this redstone torch is going to turn off, and all this is going to turn, and all this is going to reverse until this one is on, and these powered rails get powered. So, that's basically the starting circuit. Here is the randomizer circuit, and that goes from this four tick repeater right here. So, you want a, a redstone dust, and then a repeater, so the four ticks. That goes into a block with a redstone torch on top, and then two hoppers facing into one another, and in this hopper has to be a non-stackable item, like a piece of armor, a sword, or a minecart. It has to be non-stackable. That goes into a comparator, with, that goes into a block, and on that block goes redstone dust, three of them, and this whole row of orange is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks long. So three redstone dust, a repeater on either side, and then redstone dust coming out of that. A repeater is up to one tick, two ticks, two ticks, so right click it once, and then one tick again. And that's that circuit, and those repeaters run into blocks with droppers on them and those droppers have hoppers and inside those so those droppers have hoppers and the hopper goes back into the droppers so if you're going to put an item in here it'd go into there so now basically the idea here is you want a non-stackable item and then as many stackable items as you want but they have to all be different i mean there can be the same non-stackables and different the same stackables and different droppers but you can't have like two of the same 
in one drop or else it won't work. So pretty much the more not the more stackables you have, the slower the game will be and the less likely a minecart is to move around. Right now it's right now it's kind of likely to move around, but not really. And the more non stackables you add the more stackables you add, the more likely it is to move. I mean the less likely it is to move. And those hoppers have a comparator taking an output from them, so comparators lining up like that. And those two go in, and those go into rows of two blocks, so two purple blocks. It doesn't have to be purple, I'm just showing it with purple. So purple, 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 and on those two blocks, one, two, you want redstone dust. And that should go into the block with the second powered rail from the bottom, so one, two. And not counting this one. And in between those purple lines, you want blocks with redstone dust connecting everything. And don't worry, that's not going to break anything, because the signal isn't strong enough to affect another line. And that's basically the randomizer circuit all done. And now we're going to look at the reset circuit, because the start circuit is done. The reset circuit is somewhat simpler. You want, again, the three redstone dust. And here is that block. We're first going to be looking at how to power this long line again. So... Here's the block with the third redstone dust, repeater taking an output from that block, that goes into a block, and from that block comes another repeater, this has to be a repeater, it can't be redstone dust or else it would connect, and that goes into a block with redstone dust, redstone dust, and all the way down, so this, these two right here connect to that, and that will turn on the whole thing, because this will give it enough power to run all the way down. So that looks pretty good. And now we want the last circuit, which is going to be how to power these little rails. So here's your repeater, and that goes into... So this repeater, right there, goes into a block. Underneath it, you want redstone dust, so that you can't really see from any other angle except here. Redstone dust. That goes... Another repeater output right here. That goes into a block with a redstone torch on top. I mean, redstone torch on the side. That goes into our repeater, and then you have this little line right here. So that wrist, when this redstone torch turns off, this will turn off, and these repeaters will all turn off, which means these redstone torches will turn on, making sure these power rails turn on, and that's how that's going to work. So, I know that was super complicated, and I hope you got most of it, but anyway, guys, this has been MeWeefies, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been MeWeefies, and I'm out. Peace.